Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today as always. And it's a beautiful sunny day in St. Louis, Missouri today. Hope it's great wherever you are in the world. And I know I have people from all over the world that watch my channel and I appreciate you. Shout out to my friend Sparty over on the other side of the world and my buddy Sparty in the USA. Another shout out to Kevin Samuels. I would suggest that you watch him. He's really got some good stuff. He's really helped me quite a bit too. So check him out, Kevin Samuels. Okay, today, today, we're going to do our first, no, we did our first podcast last night. So I'm going to talk about that. Do I know what I'm doing? No, I didn't know anything. I had to have the kids help me to do it. So we're still convalescing. I have to uh, get a different camera and some things. But the reason I'm bringing that up is for you, okay? Don't wait until everything is perfect before you start or before you make a show or before you get into the ring to fight or before you play your first soccer game or before you play your first baseball game. Don't wait till you're perfect. That's what people do. They wait and wait until they're, if they're really good, they think. You're never gonna get really good at what you're doing until you just start doing it. It's like fighting. People want to be a good fighter, right? But they don't want to get hit in the face. The only way to learn how to fight is to fight. I can punch the bag all day, but guess what? The bag doesn't punch back. It doesn't move like people do. It's different. It doesn't get angry. <laughs> it doesn't say anything. It doesn't move except when I hit it. So I have complete control of the bag. Try to control someone else. The same as playing baseball. For example, baseball, if you're practicing, everybody's working together to make you better. Now when you play an opposing team, no one on the other side is working to make you better. They are making you in, making you better invariably, but by trying to beat you. They're not trying to help you be a better ball player. But if the team is equal to you, you will improve somewhat. But if you play a better team, you will become better. Whatever you want to be good at, find someone who is better than you and spend time <clears throat> either playing against that person, competing against that person, or following that person around to see what it is they do. And if nothing else, you will pick up their success habits by osmosis, I think is the word, <laughs> just by being around them. It's amazing how we pick up things from people when we are around them too much, good things or bad things. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are you spending time with? Are they who you want to become? Because you will become like those people, good or bad. Whatever they are doing, you will start picking up their traits and their habits. I read where they did a study where they put three or four women together and they all had different menstrual cycles. After they were together for a month or two months, their menstrual cycles all coincided with each other. They all started happening at the same time. That is the power of association. When you hear people talking, the things you listen to on the radio, I read the other day we are bombarded every day with like 6,000 ads, advertisements, and they all have the agenda for whoever the advertiser is. It's not for your good, it's for their good, it's for what they want. Now, you can allow yourself to be influenced by this or you can influence and program yourself. As I said, you become part of what you are around. But whatever you want to do, begin to do it. Don't wait. As I started out, don't wait to be perfect. When I taught English in Central America, the people who spoke the best and learned the quickest were the ones who went out there and took every opportunity to speak English to someone. The ones who learned slowly or never really got it were the ones who were waiting. 
They didn't want to speak to someone who spoke English until they could speak perfectly or really well. Well, that doesn't work. I speak Spanish, I'm not 100%. I'd say I'm 90%. I can communicate well, but I talk to everyone I see that is Spanish to improve my language so I won't forget it to improve my Spanish speaking ability. Sometimes I approach people and they're not even Spanish, but they look Spanish, so I want to take that opportunity to practice my Spanish. And that's why I do it, because if you don't use it, you will lose it to, to uh, phrase an old cliche. Use it or lose it. My kids, they all spoke Spanish when they came up here. Now only the oldest still speaks Spanish. The rest of them forgot. And they spoke fluently without an accent like I have when I speak Spanish. So remember that the message for today is you have something, you have a dream, you have a vision, you have something you want to do. And you look and you think, I don't know how I can make that come to pass. Your job is to imagine the end, to focus on the end, to think from the end. And then the way, the how will be revealed to you. You know the first step. You know the first step. Take that first step. Whatever it is, maybe it's just picking up a book and reading it. Maybe it's watching a YouTube video. Maybe it's talking to someone. Maybe it's making a call to someone. Take the first step. I wrote two books last year, or one last year and one this year, and I'm writing a third one now. I know nothing about writing, nothing. I'm learning as I go. I know nothing about marketing a book. I haven't, I haven't, move too forward in that, but I'm doing what I can do. I step out there and do things. Sometimes I look back and I think, well, that wasn't a very smart move. I spent a lot of money and I really didn't get anything out of that marketing campaign. But I'm learning, take action. Everybody you see, maybe that you admire, that is extremely successful, has failed over and over and over again. They tried again, this didn't work, they tried something else. They failed in many different ways until they found out a way that they could succeed in whatever it is they're trying to do. Thomas Edison, they say, failed a thousand times before he found the correct filament for the light bulb. Oh, 10,000 times, not a thousand, 10,000 times. Someone asked him, how can you keep going when you failed so many times? He says, I haven't failed, I've discovered one more way that it doesn't work, which brings me closer to the way or the one or the, the filament or the material I need that will work. So that's the way you have to look at things. Failure is only failure if you give up, if you stop, if you quit. Get back up, don't give up, keep moving forward. And you can have, be, or do whatever you want in life. But it's up to you. Nobody can do your push-ups for you. Nobody can make you persist. Nobody can make you persevere. This has to come from within you, but you have it within you. It's like a muscle, you have to exercise it. When you think about giving up, just try one more time. And maybe all it takes, just one more time to get to where you need to go. And when you get there, you can see a little further. When you get to that plateau, you can see a little further. You can climb the mountain a little more. And then when you get up there, you can see a little farther. And then you can go a little more. As I quote from Martin Luther King Jr. all the time, I love that quote. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. And then you will see the next step. So my, my message for today is press on. Don't give up. Don't wait till you're perfect. Just try one more time. One more time. Get up and never give up. Smash that like button, subscribe, have a great day.